Well, good damn afternoon, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Get to that description box. Hit the link to my new channel, Green's House. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you. So Sloppy Joe does it again. He made his way to Baltimore to give some kind of, I don't know, some people might call it a speech. I, I say he gave some kind of a slur, um, slurred speech to the people. Um, and of course he mentioned some shit he shouldn't have mentioned that is unnecessary, but you know, 2024 elections coming up, he has to get his pander on. So I'm going to play a clip of him, a part of his speech, and then I'm going to play another clip. And that second clip that I play, I want you to tell me what he said. And thank God there's an actual transcript of what he said. You can see the words, but still, I don't. Some of them, some of the words in there, I don't understand. I've never heard them before. So maybe you speak by knees. Maybe you've worked with uh, senile elderly people in a nursing home or something. Maybe you have some expertise in uh, senility. Maybe you have some expertise in dealing with dementia patients and you can decipher what he's saying or at least explain why the hell he's talking like that. Help me out. OK, so here we go. I'm going to get his sloppiness up on this screen here for you, and I'm I'm bringing it to the people. I need you to explain to me what the hell he's saying. So let's check out this uh, first clip. All the military members and first responders, most importantly, the people of Maryland. Mm -hmm. I'm here to say your nation has your back, and I mean it. Your nation has your back. Yes. Clapping like trained seals. I wonder if anybody threw them a sardine off camera. And you've got, without exaggeration, one of the finest delegations in the Congress of any state in the union, Amen. and they know how to get things done, and we're going to get this paid for, mm. aren't we? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Yeah, yes, I was just yes, briefed yes, by yes. the United yes, yes. Unified Command about the ongoing impact of this tragic collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge last Tuesday. Mm -hmm. The damage is devastating, and our hearts are still breaking. Mm -hmm. Eight, eight construction workers went to the water when the bridge fell. Six lost their lives. Most were immigrants, but all were Marylanders. Hardworking, strong, and selfless. After pulling a night shift fixing potholes, they were on a break when the ship struck. <laughs> Just seconds before, one of the men named Carlos, who was only 24, left a message for his girlfriend. Here's what it said. We just poured cement. We're waiting for it to dry, he said. Well, to all the families and loved ones who are grieving, I've come here to grieve with you. We all are. <laughs> oh, what? A guy named Carlos? Texas girlfriend, it says, we just poured some concrete. We're waiting for it to dry. That's the message you chose? What the hell does that even mean? And why did he feel the need to tell us that most of them were immigrants. So does that make their life worth more that they came to this country illegally? Because let's be honest, you know there's a bunch of damn illegals. You know who's on these construction crews. Don't act stupid. You know you probably heard coming from the work site. Don't be dumb. But most of them were immigrants. So? And another question I have, why was he so quick to come out and say the government's going to pay for it? Because remember, the day it happened, he came out immediately and said that, don't worry, the government's going to pay for it, meaning we're going to pay for it. Why? When the train derailment happened in East Palestine, he didn't come out and say, don't you worry. The, the, the same day, don't worry, the government's going to pay for it. When the people of Maui lost their homes and their property and their lives. He didn't come out immediately and say, don't worry, we're going to pay for it. Why this? Why in Baltimore? It smells to me like another money laundering scheme. It smells to me like another way for them to create billions of dollars going to something with no oversight so they can stick their corrupt little gnarled, devilish, long-nailed fingers into that cash flow. That seems weird to me. Why? Why that? Why none of the other tragedies that happen in this country do you come out and say, don't worry, we're going to pay for it. Don't worry, we're going to take more of your tax money and put it toward this. 
And I wonder how come he didn't say, don't worry, we're going to take some of the funds that we've allocated for Ukraine for our main money laundering scheme, and we're going to take that to you. Why didn't he come out and immediately say, sorry, Ukraine and Ukrainians, but we got to take care of our own. We, we got to take some of this money and give it to our own people. Why not? Why didn't you say that? Because there's no fucking way they're going to touch that money to Ukraine. That's that cokehead's money. That's their money. Really, it's our money. But you know the saying, it's easy to spend other people's money. Now, let's get to the translation portion of the show. I need you to tell me, even with the, the words on the screen, I still need some help. Maybe it's my public school education, but I need you to tell me what the fuck he's saying right here. Okay, the worker grants, fancy phrase, to, which is dimes, all it is there to make sure it helps create jobs for workers involved in the cleanup. Huh? Dislocated worker grants, fancy phrase, to, which is dimes, all it is there to make sure it, it helps create jobs for workers involved in the cleanup. Disloc you know how people who have multiple DUIs, they'll put a breathalyzer on their car? before it can start to make sure they're not driving fucked up again. Can we get one of those breathalyzers put on the podium? Can we get a breathalyzer put on his microphone so he has to breathe into it to make sure he's not drunk out of his fucking mind before he starts speaking? Let me read to you what he said. And this is going to be hard for me to read because my brain still works. Remember, Sloppy Joe had three aneurysms and an embolism happen to his brain. He said, and I quote, dislocated worker grants, franzy phase, which which it's time is in all it is, is there to make sure it helps create jobs. Huh? One more time. Those with experience in dealing with people who have dementia or senility. Maybe you're a medical professional. Maybe you're a family member who had to take care of your family member in the twilight of their life and you watch them deteriorate in front of you. You have experience in this. Please help me decipher these words. Dislocated worker grants. Okay, I got that. I don't know what a dislocated worker grant is, but I recognize those words. Dislocated worker grants. Franzy phase. Who's franzy phase? Fannie Mae, is that what he was trying to say? Who's Franzi Faze? Which it's times is ing, ing. I know that goes on the end of words. I didn't know it was a word by itself. Which is times is ing, all it is, is there to make sure it helps create jobs. And there are fellow Americans of ours, there are our countrymen who are going to vote for this dude. You can go into a, a chat or comment section of your choice that has to do with something he said or, or somewhere he was speaking. And you'll find people who are still saying, vote blue, Biden, Harris, 2024, Trump's a crook. And they're backing this dude. One more time, just, and then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna meet you guys in the comments and then I wanna see if you can help me decipher this. Again, if you have experience, let me know. Dislocated worker grants, franzy phase, which it's times is ing, all it is is there to make sure it helps create jobs. That's what the current resident of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue said in front of a live studio audience. It was a hot mic, and that's what he said. So people of Baltimore, Marylanders, Baltimoreans, whatever you're called, room, hot dog. that's... My mom's from Baltimore, so some of the words she says and my family members say are crazy. Room. <laughs> anyway, how does that make you feel? Does that make you feel, whew, we're going to get that bridge done. He's he's on the case. Sloppy Joe's on the case. We have nothing to worry about. And then don't forget your mayor who is talking about his purpose in life. And this is a direct quote. His purpose in life is to make white people feel uncomfortable. So you have Sloppy Joe coming there saying franzy phase and some other shit. And then the mayor who's on the ground, boots on the ground, he's saying his main focus is to make white people feel uncomfortable. 
Now, does making white people feel uncomfortable build bridges? Is that going to get supplies to show up and money to start flowing? I don't think so. I think it's just some stupid bullshit that he shouldn't be focused on. And then here's the rainbow cherry on top. You have Pete Booty Gage, who is in charge of all this. The infrastructure of our country is, is being overseen by Pete Booty Gage, who during a supply chain issue, when we couldn't get powdered formula on the show, he's at home with his husband playing fake mom and dad holding their baby. The fuck? Baltimore, you, you ain't ever going to get a bridge. <laughs> Your bridge, the same thing that happened to the high-speed rail in California is going to happen to your bridge. You're going to get, they're going to give you a budget at first, right? And then the budget's going to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And they're going to give part of the money. And then the money's going to disappear. And they're going to build a couple things, a couple structures. And that shit's never going to happen. That's just another way for them to steal and pillage our tax dollars. But one place, two places that I guarantee you our tax money is going to go to. Now, this will happen. The money will make it to these people. It's going to go to Ukraine and it's going to go to the war in Gaza. It's going to go to Israel. Why? Why is their infrastructure and their border more important than ours? So not only do I need you to translate that fucking gibberish that he said, I need you to explain to me why someone else's border and someone else's sovereignty and someone else's economy and infrastructure is more important than ours. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And hold on. Wait a minute. My, my son just walked out here, threw me off. Do you know how it goes? Get in the house. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Utilize the link tree link. Get your ass in the description box. Hit the link to my new channel, Green's House. Like, subscribe, and share. I am Jericho Green. And man, I'm out.